Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Does this sound like you when you're trying to play low notes on the saxophone? Does it frustrate you when you're trying to play low notes and you get this really blatty honking sound or you get the note that jumps up high, which is called an overtone? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a simple exercise, a really simple trick to help get rid of that and have you play low notes clearly and easily once and for all. Right before I get into that though, if you haven't yet watched my completely free masterclass called The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos, please do yourself a favor, go to the description down below, click the link at the top of it, and you will get instant access to this 40 minute masterclass complete with nine pages of PDFs. In the masterclass, I teach you my simple six step voice leading process that'll have you playing more horizontal, melodic, and lyrical solos in no time. One quick thing before I get into this exercise, and that is make sure your saxophone is in good working order. I don't like to blame the gear for things, but if you have a leaky instrument, especially those low notes get leaky sometimes, no matter what you do, it's gonna be a problem with those low notes. I know for me, I rarely take my horn into the shop and I, you know, I beat it up pretty good. So I always try to force those notes in there and I'm like slamming down the keys. And when I finally get it fixed, it's so much easier. So make sure you're not fighting against the instrument as well as fighting against the low notes. Now, there are a lot of different exercises and a lot of different approaches to getting a good sound on the saxophone, both low notes, high notes, and everything in between. But this video, I'm just gonna be talking about one exercise, which I think is gonna help you more than any other one in playing those low notes effectively. I call this the anti-overtone exercise. You may have heard of overtones and you might have even practiced them yourself. And in this video, I'm not gonna be going over what they are or really how to practice them because that's a completely separate topic that I will get into in the future. Basically, an overtone on saxophone happens when you're fingering a low note, let's just say the lowest note on the saxophone, a low B flat, and you hear a higher note come out, like the octave up B flat, or even more common, the octave and a fifth above that, which would be the middle F on the saxophone. An anti-overtone, kind of like the name implies, is we're trying to get completely rid of that higher note sound. It's a really simple exercise that will help you learn to use your embouchure, your air, and voice everything properly to get those low notes to speak without them jumping up high. The process is simply this, pick any low note. For this first one, I'll focus on low D. Instead of just going to play that low D, what I'm gonna do is just blow air through the instrument and then increase the speed and the amount of that air until the note speaks. You're not gonna try to articulate the note. You're not gonna try to force it out. All you're gonna do is blow air and increase the air until the note speaks and then decrease that air until the note stops and all you hear is air again, just like this. What this trains you to do is really feel what you need to do as the player to create that low note sound what your embouchure has to do, what your air has to do, and you're gonna adjust accordingly. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be going through every little thing related to tone, like every little bit of your embouchure, your air, how to voice it. This video will be way too long. I will get into those in a future video or videos, but I really want you to focus on adjusting different things, specifically your embouchure, to create that low note sound without the overtone happening. If this happens to you, Try getting your tongue a little bit lower and thinking of the syllable aw. Sometimes when your mouth is a little too tight, your tongue's a little too high, the jaw's a little too high, you pinch down a little too much like you're thinking e or oo, and that's gonna cause the note to jump up high and you're gonna get that overtone to pop out when you don't want it to. Because you're just starting with air and you're letting the air lead right into the note without the articulation, it's gonna get you away from always having to rely on just slamming the tongue against the reed and just bah, just blasting that low note out. For those of you who have driven stick shift cars out there, think of the point when that low note speaks after just pushing air into it as the grab point of the clutch. I know that analogy is really not gonna work for most people, but hey, if you have driven stick, I know it will give you a visual representation and a physical representation of kind of what it should feel like when that note clicks in. This anti-overtone exercise is really great because it's simple, it's quick, and it's effective in helping you play your low notes cleanly. This is something that you could do at the beginning of your warm-up session, really at any point in your warm-up session before a gig or really any other time when you're really trying to set your embouchure and your air and really feel one with the instrument and all the notes that you're gonna play. 
This exercise can be done on any note you want. I just use low D in this one as an example. I really want you to try this exercise out for yourself because I know it's gonna help you play your low notes better. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried this before or what some of your favorite exercises are for playing low notes. Also, don't forget to go down to the description below, click the link to get my free masterclass, The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.